I guess I'm a case of arrested development. I was an imaginative kid. I like puppets, I like juggling, I like dancing, I like surrealist art. The challenge is linking all these things together. And then I found magic. And now I get to combine all these things in my show. I like surrealist art because it feels like magic. You're creating another world. When you see me wearing a giant puppet, I created that, and it's based on my own dad. Well, how you doing, Dad? Well, uh, I'm fine. Magdalena is my wife. Our son, his name is Benji. He experiences everything with fresh eyes, and I get to see him experience it just like I was when I was a kid. I love having him in the audience and being proud of his dad. I hope you enjoy the show. Okay. took dance lessons to help him with his magic skills. So let's see Charles Bach perform in five, six, seven, eight. <laughs> I'm Charles Bach, and I travel a lot performing, so much that it makes it really hard for me to travel with a pet. So today, I'm actually going to give him away to a new home. And I'd like to ask Teller to come up here for just a moment, if you would. <laughs> nice to meet you. Teller, I want to make sure there is something inside this box. So if you could, reach your hand down inside there and let us know if you feel something. Now, don't say anything. <laughs> just nod your head if you do. Do you feel something inside there? Yes? All right, if you could take your hand back out and take this leash back to your seat. <laughs> and I'd like to ask some volunteers from the audience to please just step up to our microphone over here. Just come on up and line up right behind the microphone. Go ahead. We need a few, so line them up. There we go. Wow, they are fast. Excellent, excellent. Hi there, what's your name? Paige. Paige, Paige, this is my wall of balloons. I got these from a local car dealership. <laughs> and Paige, I want you to select one of those balloons, any one you like. Blue one. The blue one. This is the one we spell. P-O... <laughs> go on. Thank you, Paige. All right, next person, step up to the mic and pick a balloon. Purple. The purple. You are not going to believe this. That is my favorite color. <laughs> Yeah. Well, I guess he was a little bloated. <laughs> All right, next person, step right up and uh, choose a balloon. I choose the green one. The green one. All right, I'm going to let you pop this one. Look right at that balloon and look. <laughs> you did that with your mind. Oh. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Hi there, go ahead and pick a balloon. I'll take pink. The yeah, pink one. Ones. All right. This one has something really cool inside. Air. <laughs> the next gentleman. Red balloon. The red one. All right, this one's a winner. An animal balloon. I'm going to make you something. Yep. Uh, just call out an animal. Snake. Dog it is. <laughs> there we go. A couple of ears. A couple of legs. A nice bushy tail, and there's your doggy. <laughs> Take good care of him. All right, our next gentleman, please pick a balloon. The black balloon. The please. black balloon. Let's get this party started. <laughs> All right, we're down to just three balloons, just three balloons left, and our next person, please pick one of those three. I'll take the white one. The white balloon. All right, I've been waiting all day to get rid of that one. <laughs> Gone. <laughs> now, guys, you get to go back to your seat, unfortunately, because I'm down to just two balloons. Thanks for stepping up to the plate. <laughs> Now, we are down to just two balloons, and since Teller doesn't speak, Penn, I'm going to ask you to pick one of the remaining two balloons for Teller. Uh, orange. The orange. The orange. Tell her, Penn thinks you would have chosen the color orange. Is that your card? Yes, it is. <laughs> now remember, Teller came up on stage. He felt my pet inside the box. He took the leash back out to his seat. We chose many people completely at random from all over the theater to narrow this down to just one single balloon. Come here, boy. That's right. The yellow balloon. 
And now it's time for us to let him go to his new home. Stay. Let's go to the guys. I think they're ready. Penn, tell oh. her. Okay. Are you gonna pop his balloon? Uh, I'm gonna try. First my bubble. You know, uh, they had seven people up here. Uh, those people at home that are trying to learn about magic by watching this, one of the things they would think about is that there might be some sort of way that you determined what they were going to do. They didn't really have free choices. And uh, we want to assure people that we believe deeply that they really did indeed have a free choice. Not everything that's done like that is done with what we call a force. Uh, I like that you had stuff on all the uh, all the balloons you had a little piece of business on everything that's really good there teller reached into the uh, box teller did feel a balloon there's no doubt about that he felt that now there's a there's a there's a principle in magic called the two perfect principle where if there's only one way the trick could be done that's the one way it was done we think we know the one way it could be done. We think we know the one way you did it. And if we're wrong, we are so deeply fooled. I don't want to say any more. I want Teller to do the talking. He's going to go up. And I'll tell you, if what he says isn't it, we are plumb fooled. I'm ready, I'm ready to stand up here. There is no helium tank. Oh. Did you fool them? He got it. Oh. <laughs> well, they are geniuses. You know, I know. It's pretty unbelievable. Well, thank you so much. You didn't yeah. fool them, but you certainly entertained us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen. Charles Bonk. Thank you. We have more magic on the way, so stay close.